Hey you guys, this is Kennedy 6 aka Raymond. Welcome to a very different video that I want to talk about. Now guys, we've seen six episodes from The Virtual Escape, which was one of the better series that we have ever seen that Jesse has ever produced. We've seen the Psycho series, we've seen the Christmas series, Haunted series, Documentary series, and now The Virtual Escape is the brand new one that we're about to check out. So anyway, back to the video. I want to talk about Let's, let's talk about the actual truth about what we've seen in this virtual world so far and the virtual escape. So, guys, we've seen how Isaac's life, his world, how it is progressing. We see a dad who who has a lot of money, obviously, and we, he has a, a girlfriend who it was his stepmom, actually, who it spends, his, spends his money up the wazoo. And after that, we found out who Isaac's real mother is. Which we all know that was the psycho mom from the other one, the go got the go the go call family. I can't even say the last name right. But anyway, we've seen how he how Isaac evolved into someone who doesn't care, doesn't uh, let people in, and he does whatever he wants. You know, drinking and drugs. We haven't seen the drinking yet, but I think we're getting close to that so far. But uh, let's talk about the devil inside. I want to first talk about. All the stuff that I actually seen that we kind of see, figured how Isaac evolved from getting it out of Jesse, which we all know that from the video snap out of it, when he snapped in front of the mirror, we saw the, Jesse, the real Jesse Ridgway in the mirror, and we saw Isaac out. But you guys saw how he was able to uh, parade around as McJuggernaut is not telling us the real truth, acting like, yeah, I'm, I'm really Jesse Ridgway, yeah, blah, 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 things like that. Now, let's take a look at the man in the mirror because two Easter eggs that I have found that we've noticed about that Isaac was really there. Take a look. Look how he looks at himself in the mirror. And look at this. He goes to another mirror. This is how we see how Isaac is liking the fact that he's not from the other side anymore. He's here. Just listen to how he talks. See? It's weird, Jody's. <laughs> Did you ever look at yourself in the mirror and think, who am I? You know? What is this? thing that I see. I'm in control of this. What am I doing with it? I don't know. <laughs> you see what I mean right there? It says, who is this? And who am I, what am I in control of? That's what he's saying. That guy, tell, that told, tells us that this is, we all know this is Isaac. He's wondering like, what am I going to do with this body? What am I going to do now that I'm here and I'm not the, on the other side of the mirror? Now, guys, a lot of people are speculating that in this series, the virtual escape, we're gonna see um, Isaac. We, we're gonna see Isaac in the like in a few short minute, moments where he will go find the Overlord and will make that wish. And it makes you wonder what what is this wish that we're actually gonna witness? Well, it says virtual escape for a reason. So, is it to escape the virtual world that he? spend so much time in or is it the world that he's living in now but he wants to go to a different world where he doesn't have to care about any he doesn't have to worry about it anymore he wants to be happy he wants to be safe well that's the point i think that's the point of the reference of the virtual my virtual escape i think the more that he keeps going to this virtual world the more he'll actually believe that this is that's going to be his real world, not the world that we that he's living in right now. Yeah, look at that. The more he put on the he more he puts on the goggles, the more that he'll try to believe that this virtual world is actually his real world. But we kind of seen how he has evolved into a character where we're seeing that he's knowing he knows who he is, but he's wondering like, who am I in control of? He knows. That he's controlling uh, the body of Jesse Ridgway, which we all know he's a character. We all know that. But Isaac believes that he's actually real. Now, 
I want to jump. Let's jump to. Let's jump up to the point where we all remembered how uh, J- how Isaac. Well, actually, you know, I'll I'll change it. Jesse, when I do this, that means that we all know that's not him. We all know that Jesse was drinking a lot, and Brian noticed it. But take a look at what happens. I care about you. Watch. Now watch. Now you guys remember in this video of in the man, of the man in the man in the mirror where he took Jesse's beanie off his head. If you guys remember that, he doesn't like it when people touches his beanie. And you remember in the virtual escape, he wears that beanie every single time. But bears the question, I wonder. Here's the thing. There's one the one thing that I've noticed. That it, the beanie says Juggies on it. And that's Jesse Ridgeway's hat from the Psycho series. So how did Isaac get a beanie like that in the virtual in the in this virtual escape series that we're seeing in Isaac's world? But but like I said before, guys, we're actually seeing Jesse become Isaac. We're we're in Isaac's world. So I guess if they're in the mirror world right now, we're actually seeing Jesse become Isaac, or he is Isaac in this virtu- in this world, which we all know. But watch what happens when – watch what he says when he takes the beanie. No. Give me that fucking beanie back, dude. You give me that fucking beanie back. You're Listen. Me, Jesse. You're not supposed to fucking deep, deep and dark. You're not supposed to fucking care, dude. You're not supposed to fucking care. Just go. Leave me be. Leave me like everyone fucking else. Let me – I'm dealing with this by myself. I don't need you. Just turn, turn your fucking back on me. Nobody cares. See? Now, did you guys hear what he just said to Brian? Now, take a listen to what he said. Listen to the words. Listen. Right here. You see right there, nobody cares. He said, just leave. Leave just like everybody else is. So that kind of gave us the Easter egg of what he was talking about. Leave me like everybody else does. So what is this everybody else do you actually believe what he was talking about? Well, here's what we've noticed so far in comparison to what he just said in the virtual escape. We saw uh, his best friend Leah leave him. I'm, I'm sure you guys remember back on episode five where um, he met this virtual virtual reality girl, VR girl, with the help of Michael, and he fell in love with this girl, which we later find out in episode six. Her name is Rebecca. <laughs> and when she he was outside, he was going to get eat some food. He was going to go figure out what to wear to meet this girl again. But then we see Leah pull up and tells him that I think we should go to the next level which is dating and they said there's this guy i really like because he's there for me he helps me out and i want to get to know him more and which we all know what happened on that point where we all know where this was leading he wanted she wanted to go out with isaac and be more than friends but then when we hear isaac saying i'm thinking the same thing too because i met I, yeah i met yeah this girl that i know that I really want to get to know, and I think we're really going to click. And he was actually happy. She was actually happy that he was feeling the same way, but when he revealed that it was the VR girl that he wanted to meet, that's where she drew the line. I have a feeling that this is the last time we're going to see Leah. I don't I don't think so, but I have a feeling that that was the final straw. But how Isaac just watched her leave. The same way as how his mother left him. I think we're seeing how Isaac is when when he said right there, just leave, just leave, leave like everybody else does. It's because nobody cares. But here's the thing, guys. Isaac is in the real the real world where Jesse lives, where everybody cares about Jesse Ridgeway. 
But Isaac doesn't see that. Well, Isaac sees that they care about Jesse, but I'm not Jesse, I'm Isaac. This is where we finally see that uh, when Isaac is taking control of Jesse, Isaac is actually believing that everybody doesn't care about me. They care about this Jesse Ridgeway. They should start caring about me, the real me, Isaac, the guy that's standing right in front of him. I'm not Jesse Ridgeway. That's the, I think that's the point that he's trying to say here. But for him to say that, just leave like everybody else does, he's pushing people away. This is what I've said before. And you kind of wonder why Isaac is so isolated. He's so – he's like the one-man band. He's the one that he doesn't care. I'm going to do this myself, and nobody's going to help me. And then he, when he keeps saying all these words that nobody cares, nobody cares about me, nobody cares what I'm doing, I was – it was like they do care. But it's just the problem that I think you don't see it. I think the more that he keeps pushing people away, the more that he's getting used to it. And he's going to, when people want to help, he said, no, I'm fine. Just go away and leave me alone. Now, let's go to the next video that I've noticed. This is like three or four videos away from what, what we saw in that video, the man in the mirror. My house was destroyed. Now, you guys remember how the house looked, the way that we remember it from the virtual escape. Now, as you guys may have remembered, this is exactly how the house looked from the virtual escape. This is exactly how we've seen it evolve from the, the kitchen that we knew before and to the after. And here it is, the new uh, kitchen of Jesse Ridgway, a.k.a. Isaac Calder, which we all found out that his last name was Calder at the last episode that we've seen on episode six. So this is how, how the house looked now. Now, we all remember in the when the house was destroyed. That's the title. My house was destroyed. So <clears throat> I never understood that when he titled that. I think maybe he just – when we found out that it was a remodeling thing, it was like, oh, okay. Uh, okay, I got gotcha. you. They were just remodeling the house. But then when we saw the virtual escape, that kind of get me wondering like, so the title meant the house was destroyed. So that meant that, well, lo and behold, the, the kitchen that he knew – was gone. So take a look at how he reacted when he saw that his kitchen was gone. Or destroyed, to be exact. Watch. What the fuck? What See? the fuck? What the hell? What is going on? See? Take a look. No. Fuck. Now, guys, uh, when I saw him do that, I was wondering, like, in the beginning, I was wondering, like, what the hell? What's going on? Why is he worried that his kitchen was destroyed? But I think I know why. We saw how the – like I said before, remember how we saw the kitchen look now from the virtual escape and even from that video before. That's where we met Long Bags, of course, a long lost friend, I would say. I think Isaac – Seeing that has, that how the, the kitchen was destroyed, he was remembering all the bad times that, that happened in that kitchen. So that kind of gets you wondering, like, he said, I'm not going back. I'm not going back. So that kind of tells you, I think the one thing he's not going back is going back to the memory, the pain memories of what happened in that house, in that kitchen. I think we're going to see a lot more of this of the kitchen a lot because why would he uh, be worried so much that the kitchen was destroyed and there you have it. He said, I don't want to go back. So I think going back to the painful memories of what happened in that kitchen, I think we're, I think maybe we're going to find out exactly what happened in that kitchen. I think we're going to see soon enough with more of the episodes that we're going to see in the virtual escape. I have a feeling that we're, there's more to come. To what we anticipate. Now, guys, now let's get back to the 
video, my brother, let's go back to the video, my brother sneaks into my room. Now, you guys remember after the family intervention where they found some drugs and found some pills, things like that. And we saw how Isaac was actually isolating that I'm fine, don't worry about me, don't care about me. I think I, I think I figured out why he cried at that point. So, like I said before on that on the last video when I reacted to the family intervention video, you guys remember that this is Isaac we're talking about. Now, now that we're trying to now we actually figured out more about his life since on those last episodes that we've seen. Now that episode seven is coming next week, which I have a feeling that it might not because if you guys know on Sunday is Christmas Eve. So that's going to be a big, big deal. So to me, we're seeing how Isaac – we saw how Isaac is pushing people away because he doesn't care anymore. He doesn't want people to care about him anymore. And then we see how he – now we see it on this one. He said nobody cares. Nobody cares what I'm doing and everything. We saw how he was pushing people away. Even when – they were trying to help him in the family intervention. Isaac still continues to push people away, and he kind of wonders why, and why he keep, why he says that nobody cares about him. And you see why they keep pushing and pushing until he finally has to give up and let him in. But when people start to give up, just like in the virtual escape, that's when Isaac gets to realize that, okay, nobody cares. All right, fine, don't worry about it. Now, take now, you guys remember that. We saw how Jesse's mom is playing the the stepmom in Virtual Escape. So take a listen. I'm fine. I'm not taking my fucking shirt off. I'm not taking my fucking. I'm not. No. I'm not taking. No. Can I have my knife back? No, you can't have the knife back. If you if you're gonna do that, look at my arm. Look at my arm. You haven't given us. I'm not doing anything. You wouldn't right. fucking see it if you knew anything about what people do to themselves. Well, you okay. haven't given us you one more hide. reason why you had this knife. See? People are ignorant. You guys don't know so fucking shit. Ignorant. We're concerned about it. I had it because it's is cool. This serious, Jesse. Why what? is that cool? What, what does that do you need, uh, uh, like, As a gamer, it's really cool to have shit like that. Think of it as like a, a cool like piece of is like... from a game? I'm sure it is. Oh, I'm, I'm sure, sure it is. It doesn't look Jesse, like you've been acting crazy. Why the fuck are you all my business? Let me be how I want to be. See? No, we care about you. If you cared about me, you'd let me do my own thing. See? Oh, to a point, we, we do, do let you do it. This is in my business. You need to be hurting you need to talk yeah. to us. We're not ganging up on you, Jack. I don't know. We want to know what's going on. Yeah, and when I said... two times to hurt yourself. See? Correct? We're trying to help you. We don't get this from the film. Fine. You take that at face value, okay? No, we don't. Not when you have a history of doing this in the past. History? Years. History? Yeah. I'm good, dude. It's when shit like this happens that makes me upset. You're very defensive. You so, oh, you care so much suddenly? So you care so much suddenly? You give me my space. That's how it works around here. That's how it works around here. That's how it works I didn't come here to get this shit, all right? I didn't come here to get this shit from any of you. You're not listening. We've always right. had an open door policy. You've always talked to us. No, you're, you're not in our house. We're concerned no. about it. If you're going wait. through something, you need to Okay, well, no. All right, all right. Can I just say this to play fucking devil's advocate here? I can literally grab a fucking kitchen knife. I'm just pl I'm just placating here. If I wanted to do shit like that, I could cut myself, right? I could cut myself with anything. You're sitting in a drawer in the kitchen where everybody knows they're at. They're not I could grab one drawer in your bed. Are you listening to me? I'm listening to you. I could grab anything and do what if I really wanted See? to do it. So you have to trust that I'm fine and that I'm not going to do shit like that. Having this but you is making me comfortable. To do stuff. It makes me comfortable to have this. So please. See? Wow. But why? You, can you just it? tell us why? I open shit with it, all right? Jesus Christ. I open with you can have fucking fan mail, because that's what these people send me. I open fan mail. See? It's a letter it's opener. Jesus Christ. Now, is this over? I don't give a shit. I want mine back, all right? Give him back his letter. Well, a blade is a blade. If that's what you're really so fucking concerned about, thank you. Jesus. I don't talk to us anymore. See? I Watch. said I'm fine. That's no, me. We're, said we're conversing fine. right now, Father. But you See? do know that if you have a problem, you need to talk to Really? Them. Okay. You be able yes, to. really. And why are you being so smart? I'm not. Thank you. I am. And now so the so things you were saying to me the other day, that, that's not you. See? Well. I mean, you have to tell them right. what's going on. 
Oh, uh, well, no, I'm going to my room. Just leave me the fuck alone, please. Now, you guys notice that we're seeing the two people in the virtual escape who's playing the dad and the stepmom, and they don't give a damn. They try to be there for them, and and there you have it. They, they, they don't try their hardest. Once, when they say that, they keep giving, they give up. They keep giving up on them. But at that point right there, what, what you just seen right there, with, Jess, with Jesse's dad and mom, they're trying their best to let I let I Jesse know that they're there to help, and you don't talk, to, and he doesn't talk. We all know that. That guy tells me right there that we've seen the actual uh, answer to why Isaac is like this, and how. And you notice how surprised Isaac was when. These parents are these parents are telling him that you gotta talk to us. Why is why do you why can't you let why can't you tell us what's going on? If you guys like I said guys remember back in the virtual escape he doesn't tell anybody what he's doing and you kind of wonder like like why is he always against everybody when they don't care what he's doing? See that right there is point now. Watch what happens here. Let's go to... Actually, I'm not going in here. Oh, oh. Watch. Oh, I'm going to be cutting myself, because that's what I'm fucking doing. See? Hello? Are you going to come Exactly, and that's why nobody gives a shit. I'm going to... You see right there? Now, the, the, the way that he said it, he was just being like a smartass. I'm, I'm letting you guys know that. But if you guys remember the virtual escape, he was doing that because he's in pain. He's upset. We all know why he's upset. Now, let's go back to the point where, like I said, I have a feeling that Isaac ha is a good person. So, and you're going to see why. This shit ain't going to fly. <laughs> Watch. Hey, do not ever fucking what go fuck? in my room again. Say, you watch this. Me? What the fuck are you doing with that? Watch. You're in my fucking room. No, I'm still gonna go in your fucking room. See? Just, you fucking smashed a bottle and held up my neck. You fucking held that thing in front of me in a threatening manner the other night. And now you're gonna come in my fucking room. What's this threatening? Well, guess what, dude? If you continue to think you can just fucking walk all over me and go into my fucking room. Are you serious? I'm Are you being serious with me right now? I am so fucking serious. You don't wanna be serious. No? You do not wanna be serious. You don't go in my fucking room. No, I'm gonna go in your fucking room. You don't fucking go in my room. Are you kidding me? Look, what the fuck? Listen. Jess, like, given what you've been doing, if you're gonna be doing drugs and you're gonna be, like, trying to hurt yourself, I'm you're gonna... not going in my fucking room. I'm going in your fucking room. Who the fuck are you? Is this how you normally act? I'm your fucking you just... big brother. I always act this way. See? Like a dick. Yeah, a, but a dick. You wanna say I can do shit with this? I mean, you could try. You want to say I can do it to myself because of the shit you say to me? You'd, you'd be willing to cut yourself and hurt yourself. And that'd be on you. Try and that'd be on you. You don't fucking go in my room, all right? I'm trying to help you. Don't you don't go in my room. That's private. I don't go through your shit. It's not private when you're in such a situation that you're in. Jesus, fuck. See right there? That's called being caring. That, that's caring. Sorry, but if you're going to be acting this way, and this, this is the where this where you're at. I don't... I don't know what the fuck. I'm not doing it. this to be a dick to you, Jess. I'm doing this because I care. Okay. The, uh, see? What the fuck are you even playing? Why are you giving sh? Are you hello? You say I said why don't why why don't you why don't you what? I think what Isaac is trying to point out is that why don't you just give up and stop? Caring. Now, this is what I. Th this is why I. Uh, this is why I get the virtual rea the virtual escape series and also the Devil Inside series. This is what I get right now. After look, when we watched the Devil Inside series, we didn't know much about him. We didn't know why he was act at why Isaac was acting this way. And now that we saw the virtual escape, this new series about Isaac's world, I think you kind of see and get the answer of why Isaac is has been this way. Isaac is in the world where everybody cares about him. He's, they're there to help if you allow it, them, them to help. Now, we see in, the, in this world where everyone's trying to help, but 
he pushes people away. He keeps pushing people away. And then he's just like, okay, I give up. They just leave. That's it. I think that is the, I think that's the point that Isaac is pointing out that w what we just saw from the man in the mirror video. He said, just leave. Just leave like everybody else does. Like I said, guys, the more you push people away, the more that they will walk away and they're never going to come back. But now we're in a, he's in a world where people do care and they're not what, what Isaac sees in them in, in another world. So right there, that kind of is kind of proof that he <coughs> sees people that actually care, but he's actually wondering, like, why don't they stop caring? That kind of tells you one thing. Oh, and by the way, do you guys remember, you guys saw how what, how he was threatened with a knife? Take a watch. No, I'm still going to go in your fucking room. Watch. Just you fucking smashed a bottle and held his my neck. You fucking held that thing in front of me in a threatening manner the other night. And now you're gonna come in my fucking room. Was it threatening? Well, guess what, dude? If you continue to think what? you can just fucking walk all over me and go into my fucking room, are you serious? I'm a... Are you being serious with me right now? I am so fucking serious. You don't want to be serious. No. You do not want to be serious. You don't go in my fucking room. No, I'm gonna go in your fucking room. You don't fucking go in my room. Are you kidding me? What the fuck? Yes. Like, given what you've been doing, if you're gonna be doing what? drugs and you're gonna be like trying to hurt yourself. I'm You're gonna, not going in my fucking room! I'm going in your fucking room! Who the fuck are you? Is this how you normally act? I'm your fucking just, big brother. I always act this way. Like a dick. Yeah, a, but a dick. You wanna say I can do shit with this? I mean, you could try. You wanna say I can do it to myself because of the shit you say to me? Now, it's funny how he says that. He said, you know what I could do with this? He was he was actually threatening him to use that on him, and Jeffrey just looked at him and said, "No, you're not serious. I'd like to see you try." You, you hear what he said? I'd like to see you try, and you notice that he that Isaac didn't do anything. Like guys, like, remember in the last virtual escape video back in episode I would say it was four or five. Remember when he was threatening the uh, the moderator? I think his name was Adam, I believe. And I said, "You know, I can hurt you right now." Is I'm going to hurt you? And he said, you're not going to do it because you won't. And he said, oh, yeah, let's see. And you notice how he kept saying it, but he's not doing anything. And what's stopping him? You notice that he didn't do a single thing. He didn't do a single thing to that guy. And also, let's go to the park. Oh, Scallion Solomon. That was the video. How about the point where he was at Solomon's house and he was captured and he said, what are you going to do with this? There's a knife right here. Who's to say I'm going to pick it up and, and stab you with it? Things like that, blah, blah, blah. He kept saying it over and over and over and over again. And he's not doing it. Well, guys, I think there's uh, like lots of reasons. One, that he has a gun. You never bring a knife to a gunfight. That's the rule. And Well, that's the saying, actually. And also, two, there's two other guys who are armed. And this guy's – and they're protecting Solomon. So – it, for Isaac to keep saying that, he's not, you know, he's saying it, but he's not doing it. You know, you can talk the talk, but can you walk the walk? He can say it, but he's not doing anything. If you guys want to know, see another example, I'll show you another example. Now, who remembers the the video, Third Time's a Charm? Now, we, remember, we saw how Isaac kidnapped Jesse's mom, and now he's trying everything in his power to get Jesse out. It'll make him appear in the mirror. So watch what happens. Come out, Jesse! Get the fuck out! Jesse, you're crazy. Jesse, Jesse, you're crazy. Jesse, you're shit. Watch. I'll do it, motherfucker. I'll do it. Get close, get close to this knife. Get the fuck, get your fucking neck close to this knife. Get close to this knife. I am demanding. Get close to the fucking knife. Watch. I'll do it, Jess. I will slit your mother's throat if you're not fucking coming in this mirror. How far do I gotta take this shit? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why aren't you doing it? Now, guys, you saw, you you kind of see right there. He said he was gonna do it. Hey, like I said before, he's in a world where he has no family, he has no friends down there. He's got nothing to lose. 
But he said he was going to do it if he doesn't, if, he, if Jesse doesn't come to the mirror. So answer me this. Why didn't he do it? That's the question, stupid, stupid rooster. <laughs> like I said before, guys, why didn't he do it? Doesn't that tell you something right there? Like I said, you can talk the talk, but can you walk the walk? That is the point that I'm, I'm giving. Isaac has no idea what he's doing. He has no idea. Isaac, I think, well, we all know what happened in the other ones where he did shoot, he did shoot uh, Parker in, in the in the other video. Please save my shattered mind. That's what we still know is that I, when we see how Isaac believed that he was actually a real person, but he's actually a character. He know he doesn't know that, but then we finally realize he does now, after when the series was over. But he knows that he didn't do it. That shows right there there is good in him. He said that every time when he gets to a point of no return, he doesn't think straight. So that kind of tells you right there that Isaac has no clue. Now, let's talk about the final one, that final act, that he tried to do something, but still couldn't do it. Now, you see right here. Characters, man, and you get a fan here. You're going to let a fucking man. I thought these, these were what mattered, right? More than yourself. More than your family, dude. The See? people that made you who you are. I won't die. You won't let me die over the last few months and you can get two shits. Alright. See right here? That shows right there that Isaac can't do, can do it. Look, look in the mirror and just say goodbye. Say goodbye and you be right <laughs> Say goodbye. Now you guys kind of see right there where he does it, but he doesn't do it. You kind of see that how Isaac can't do anything. But we all remember what happened at the very end, right here. Come here, bitch! Hey, hey, hey. We all see this. We don't do this anymore! Put the kids down! And let them go! Right now! See? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. What the fuck you just do, man? Now, here's the question I, I'm wondering right here. He wouldn't do that to anybody except the wizard. I think that kind of answers the question. I think we know who the overlord is. I'm thinking. I'm, I have a feeling that, that that might be the overlord. But here's the thing. I, he said we're going to be back here again and again. Now, let's let's talk about what, what that meant, meant. Now, guys, you, know, you remember, like I said in the video, The Devil Inside, where we see him talking to the wizard. Watch what happens. How many times did you try to kill yourself, Isaac? Forget destroying everyone else. How many times have you tried to kill yourself since breaking mirrors? <laughs> you know no right to talk about that shit. See? You don't know my life. You don't know what I've been through. You're a I'm fucking done. asshole! You're done here. That's I'm not, no, I'm not going You're back! You're done here! You want to bring up Go to back to I'm where you belong, Isaac! Pay attention to me! Listen to me! Why are you running? We're going to be here again. And again, Isaac. When he says we're going to be here again and again. So that kind of... Now, this overlord. We don't. We know his name. We know that there's an overlord in this virtual world. So... In the virtual escape series. So it kind of makes you wonder... When, he's, when he said it right there, we're going to be here again and again. So... That kind of tells me right there that... Maybe this is where Isaac will meet the Overlord. Maybe this is where we're actually going to see. Or, if you think about it, what if the Overlord was actually there when Isaac got shot? Well, a lot of people say it's the devil. We all know that. But, kind of makes you wonder if, uh, if that actual spot where we're seeing right now, I have a feeling that maybe that's where Isaac will meet the Overlord. And then maybe we'll get that. Maybe he'll get that wish. He said we're going to be here again and again. But that kind of tells you, like, what is that? So they're going to meet at the same spot every time? For twice. So that kind of tells me that I think we, we are going to see him in the, in the virtual escape series, in the virtual world soon. I have a feeling we will. Well, guys, that's my uh, analysis. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's longer than I thought it was going to be, but 
That's my opinions on it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reactions, more gameplay. Drop some likes on it if you have enjoyed this. I have a feeling that what we just saw kind of clears up everything about Isaac. And all the Easter eggs that I've seen. And we'll, I think we're going to see a lot more. As you know, Jesse Ridgway actually posted on, some tw on Twitter a lot of Easter eggs that pointed out. But these are the ones I actually noticed. So I hope you guys will enjoy this. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, don't forget, stay positive. I said that twice. I've noticed that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this.